Hey everyone! So today I wanted to make a video on the HPV vaccine after the age of 26. Now, before I get into this, let me just state that I am not a doctor. Most of the information that I might state in this video, I've either gotten from doctors I've seen or from sexual ed resources that you could probably find online very easily. Now, if this is something that you would be interested in, the HPV vaccine uh, Gardasil 9, it's something you should do your own research on and talk to your doctor about it just to see if it's right for you. Now, one of the reasons I'm making the video is that this has actually been around for months now, uh, maybe since October, maybe before, but a lot of people just don't seem to know about it. There's not a lot of people talking about the age limit for this vaccine being uh, increased. So originally it was only up until I believe 26 and now the age is up to 45. So this opens up the window for a lot of people. Gardasil 9 is usually given with three different injections. So usually they'll give you one dose of it and then two or so months later another dose and then three months after that usually another dose they might do it differently depending on your doctor and your own unique needs the reason it's called gardasil 9 is because it protects against nine different types of hpv now there are countless other types of hpv but the ones that this protects against are generally what's considered high risk hpv so HPV types that are more likely to potentially cause cancer in the future, and ones that cause visible genital warts. If you already have HPV, this will not cure the HPV that you have. This is a preventative vaccine. Now, if you already have HPV, this is not to say that you shouldn't go and get this if you wanted to, and one of the reasons being is there's so many different types of HPV that you can get more than one type. So even if you already have one type of HPV, you can still be protected against other types of HPV with this vaccine. You might see some cases online where people claim that the vaccine did cure their HPV or made their warts go away. Now, there's no proof of this actually happening, and one of the reasons being is that sometimes warts can just spontaneously go away on their own, which is why you probably see so many like weird, awkward treatments online if you were to Google how to get rid of warts. So that's something to keep in mind is that warts don't always go away on their own, but they can. So sometimes people will do something to a wart, it goes away, and they think that those two things are directly connected, and that's not always the case with warts. Now, for older people getting the vaccine, it's not necessarily going to be 100% effective. I believe the cdc.gov site quoted it as 88% effective in older people that get the vaccine. So that's not to say that you shouldn't get it because HPV is a very easy STD to get. And one of the reasons being is that condoms may not protect you against getting it because it's skin to skin contact, not bodily fluid. So I think that it's still potentially a good idea to get it if you're sexually active. But like I said earlier, talk to your doctor to see if it's right for you, because there might be some people, especially people with like yeast allergies and stuff like that, that might not be a good candidate for it. One of the reasons that I got Gardasil 9 is not just that I don't want HPV, but I also wouldn't want to give HPV to other people. Now, something to keep in mind is there is no FDA-approved test to test for HPV in AMAP people. So people assigned male at birth, they cannot be tested for HPV in an FDA-approved way in the United States. I don't know about other countries. I can't speak on behalf of them and what they have available. But I know in the United States, there is no FDA-approved test to be checked for HPV in men or AMAB people, so that's generally uh, women or AFAB people uh, are generally checked for it, uh, and that's, I feel, one of the reasons why this is such a prevalent STD is because 
there's no way to necessarily test everybody and not everybody even has visible signs of it and even the ones that can cause cancer you might not get the cancer for many years down the road even though most people won't get cancers from it it's still i think better to be safe than sorry but yeah i am out for now if you want to learn more about the HPV vaccine, you could talk to your doctor about it. I'm sure that they probably have a lot more information on it than I do. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe. There'll be videos every week.